Hey guys, Horatio here. Today we went to Diver City in Odaiba, um, known specifically for Gundam Front, I didn't get it the as we came in. Gundam Museum, uh, which was just absolutely amazing. Today was really, really the Gundam day. Um, inside they had a variety of models um, from the Gundam universe, just right in the door. Really cool stuff. Some um, they even had a portion of a one-in-one -one scale Gundam that you could get your pictures taken in the cockpit of. Um, and then they had a little area where you could bring up photos of your favorite characters and then stand to get your picture taken with them. So, of course, I picked Zex and Trey's from Gundam Wing, my two favorite characters. For sure, yeah. Um, and then they Let's had an the area the with Shot G, huh. which was sort of like a planetarium show. Um, this is the hallway leading into it. I didn't get any footage of it, but it was the history of Gundam with a lot of cool animation. There was also the Gundam Science Exhibition, which was a whole museum area detailing the science behind everything seen in the Gundam universe, as well as current things and events in science that are leading towards a more Gundam-like reality. Uh, it was it was a really cool exhibit. Uh, it had a lot of actual like original art and sketches from the artists working on the Gundam series, um, which was very cool. It was cool to see those details. It had a huge timeline of every Gundam series like, across like the wall. Um, uh, more more, <laughs> more mean, original art. There was definitely a whole lot of art. There were a lot of models of um, space stations and current. So things in science. There was a 1 in 10 scale model of a Gundam that was very cool. Um, there was information about spacesuits from, from the Gundam series and o over the years and how they're similar to spacesuits being developed currently, which was very interesting. There was also information on the core robot, which is a robot that they were working on that can lift huge amounts of weight and bend its knees deeply, and then they actually had one there. Uh, they had a one-in-one -one scale cockpit, which unfortunately you couldn't, you couldn't actually climb into. It was just for display, but it was very cool to see in person. It was really cool to see the amount of detail that they put into the cockpit, um, as well as various diagrams of Gundams and how they might actually work. Um, there was a Haro one-in-one -one scale that was super cute with information on current uh, pets that are robotic, as well as here's, here's another model of, um, of a carrier. And then there's some original background sketches from the animation. There was just a huge amount of information and art, and there was a lot of stuff that, that I was forbidden to photograph. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out if you're ever in the area. And then in their store, they had a huge amount of Gunpla, massive walls of Gunpla for sale for extremely reasonable, including a number of exclusive Gunpla, as well as a lot of exclusive merchandise. Um, like Omiyage, clear files, towels, phone straps, postcards, pins, uh, different little Gashapon figures. And then there was an area selling a lot of clothes that are Gundam inspired, which was very cool. Oh, thank you. The shoes were my favorite. Um, and then they had a museum uh, dedicated entirely to Gunpla, uh, which was just fantastic. There were massive amounts of professionally built Gunpla. Um, with just extreme paint details. They were beautiful, beautiful to look at, and it was great to, to pick up, you know, a lot of pointers from looking at them. There were also dioramas uh, featuring Gunpla and cityscapes. And then outside of Diver City, there is a one-in-one -one scale Gundam. Um, like, like genuine one-in-one -one scale. And there's you can get your photo taken with it with different props. There are a variety of trucks selling foods and merchandise, and then there's yet another Gundam Cafe, which had a ton of exclusive merchandise um, that wasn't available at the at the uh, other Gundam Cafe in Akihabara. Uh, they had a lot of exclusive food, including the Beam Churro, which is a churro in a bag that looks like the Beam Saber. A lot of exclusive toys and very cute little merchandise tchotchke kind of things, um, ice cream, Outside, there were exclusive Gashapon, um, including some really cute little keychains. So it was a really fun day, and I definitely recommend it for Gundam fans. Uh, this is Horatio signing out. I will see y'all at the next video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. You know the whole drill. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.